Okay guys, today I'm going fishing with one of my number one all-time favorite pond fi bass fishing baits and probably one of the most exciting. It's this little popper right here. It's not just a normal popper, I mean, well it is just a normal popper, but it's only an inch and a half long and that's what really makes it special. If you look hard on this bait, you'll see there's hardly any paint left on it and there's like a million scratches on it. That's because I've caught about a million bass off this thing. The reason I think it's so effective in a pond is because of its size. Usually in ponds, you know, you can get some giants, but a lot of times you're going to have a lot of one, one and a half pound bass, a lot of dinks, and you know, especially around here, that's what you got, it's a lot of dinks. That's perfect dink size bait, and it's only one and a half inches, and in a pond, there's no gizzard shad, there's no bait that really gets giant. I mean, yeah, there'll be big bluegill, but those bass aren't feeding on big bluegill. Those bass are feeding on bait. That's about an inch, inch and a half, at biggest, two inches long. Now, I prefer to fish it on a spinning reel just because it is a small bait. It can get hard to cast with a bait caster. As for braid, mono, fluorocarbon, braid or mono works good. Just not fluorocarbon because fluorocarbon sinks, and that'll just pull that bait down, and, you know, then it won't be a true topwater. But anyways, I'm going to walk right down that pond and try to get me a good fish on the GoPro. Now some days you're going to just want to throw it out there, let it sit till all the rings go by, then pop it one time or two times, then let it sit till all the rings disappear. But you know what? Some days they'll just want it walked. Some days they'll want it fairly fast. Maybe just a one or two second pause in between maybe three or two pops, you know, something like that. Sometimes they want it faster, sometimes they want it slower. You just got to fish a little bit and see what they want. And that's, you know... These fish just blew up right there. So I'm going to put my bait right where he blew up. Because generally, if he blows up on a bait, on a little, on a normal fish, and you throw your top water right in there, he's done keying in on that top water. And he knows that what he just ate off the top water is going to be good to eat. So, you know, he's always ready for his next meal. Got him. There he is. Just like that. That time I was walking it after a long pause. So I let it... So I let all the rings disappear. Then, you know, then I just started walking it back a little bit. And, you know, he hit it. And I'm telling you guys, this guy choked it. He's even got a few hooks back there in his gills. Uh, we may have to get the pliers out for this guy. And just like that, guys, a little bit of blood, but he obviously swam off, right? But for real, guys, he'll be all right. Got him, boys. There he is. He's a little one, but still. And uh, he's hung me up in a little stick. Come on now. Here we go. Get him in here. Ooh, nothing the same size, but hey, boys. Fish is a fish in my book. There he is. Now we're starting to figure them out. Now, I did catch those two fish on a popper next to the bank, but we can break that down a little bit more. Earlier, how I said sometimes they want it slow, sometimes they want it faster. Well, I caught both of those after I let it sit for a little bit and then started walking it. And walking it is whenever you're making it go side to side like that, which is a faster technique than just letting it sit. So I caught both of them while I was walking it. So I'm going to keep fishing a little bit, start walking it more, see if I can't dial them in that much more. Oh gosh, I got him, guys. I'm telling you. They really like it. That's three casts in a row. I've got bit and I've hooked them all three. They're all about the same size, though. That's no problem, but, you know. Now. Now, there we go. Now that I've figured them out, I'm actually going to do something that a lot of people's not going to do. And I'm going to change baits. Okay, so I'm actually going to be changing baits. And instead of a popper, I'm still going to stay with top water, but I'm going to change, you know, to this little buzz bait. Now, a popper is a very, very slow top water bait. One of the slowest. But they are biting on the faster end of the top of the popper game. Now, this buzz bait, which I'm switching to, a buzz bait is a very, very fast top water. So now that I know that they're fairly biting fairly fast, I'm going to see how fast they're biting. And if those bass are biting whatever they see, then a buzz bait is going to be more effective than a, t than a popper because I can cover more water faster with a buzz bait. But if I get out there and don't get bit on the buzz bait, then I'll know that they may be biting fast, 
but not this fast. But anyways, here's another little random buzz bait tip. If you really do think that a buzz bait will work, but there's maybe a bunch of leaves in the water like I do have here, or little pizza, bits of shredded grass, you can switch to a buzz frog, which is a weedless technique, which is basically the same exact thing. The only bad thing is that your hookup ratios are not going to be nearly as good. And I just got that thing hung in the tree. Let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, I got it out. Guess we can kiss that buzz bait goodbye. Didn't even fish it long enough to get a good bite on it. Okay, well, I mean, I guess I just figured out that they're not biting fast enough for a buzz frog or a buzz bait. I'm going to switch back to that popper and just start whacking them. Now let's see if we can't pick up right where I left off. Oh, dang it. I just had a big catfish come up after that thing. He's just coming right up behind it. And then once he got up to the top, I guess he may have saw me. I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking, but he came right up on it. Big catfish. And then he turned around. Well, there goes, there goes my... Oh, my gosh. I could... There goes my popper. Tell you what, I'm going to the house. Okay, guys, I found a bed. A bass just came off the bed, nipped it, and spit it back out. They're right here under this bush. That's a really good spot for them not to get caught by me. But, you know, I think maybe I can still whiz one in there. Let's see. And she's right up on it. Or he's right up on it. Got him. There he is. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Bed fish right here. Little male, I'd guess. Gotta be. I hooked one of them. Then, then it got off. Then this and kept biting and biting and biting afterwards. Then, you know, finally got him. This right here, if you'll look right here, that's not where my hook was. My hook was over here. This fish has been caught before. And I wouldn't doubt it if it wasn't by me, so we'll let this guy go get back on his bed. Uh-oh. There you got it. There he is. Pulled him. Pulled this fish straight out of that brush pile. Instead of coming up this brush pile and flipping a jig in or a creature bait, instead I threw the wacky worm on the outside and made this bass come out of the brush pile to eat my worm. Got him. Oh, oh. Yeah, that one's in there spawning. I saw her roll on it two times. Roll on it, spit it out. Roll on it, spit it out. There she got it. Yeah, that's a good one right there. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm, get her up here. Yeah, man, that's a good one. Oh, man. That is a real nice one for this pond. Not anywhere else, but this pond, that's a giant. And you know it's a giant when you've seen all the other fish that I've been catching today. Compare this to all the other fish I've been catching today. This is a monster. Like, no kidding. It ain't, it ain't even over a pound, but look at that big old chunky belly right there. Definitely spawning. She was on the bed whenever I caught her. She didn't even know I was here. That's why she bit so quick. Anyways, I'm going to get her in there before something tries to eat her eggs. And you know, yep, right there she goes. Bang. She's back on her bed, just like that. 
I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now because you know what? This is only the this is only the 16th time I've hung up. You know, the struggle is real. I don't even know what to say. But whenever this line breaks, the video is just going to end. So, I mean, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh...